Hi there. This is the third in a series of six videos on National 5 definitions covering electricity. If you want to test your knowledge of some of the important definitions, then take a look at this file on my website. You'll see a link to it at the top right hand side of your screen now. This is the shortest of the definitions videos with only three definitions, although they are important ones, and two diagrams to look at. Here's the first definition, current. Remember that you can pause the video once the term is displayed to give yourself more time. Current then is the charge transferred in one second. You can use this equation to help you work out the definition for current I, although you'll need to rearrange it to make I the subject. Just divide both sides by time T. Now we can see that current I is equal to charge Q divided by time T. The unit for time is of course the second. So current is, as I said earlier, the charge transferred in one second. Next up we have voltage. If you have a good understanding of the difference between current and voltage, then you'll understand why voltage splits in a series circuit, but it's current that splits in a parallel circuit. The voltage of a power supply then is the energy given to each coulomb of charge by the power supply. There is a higher physics equation which helps us with this definition, but we'll stick to National 5 for now. Next up is power. Let's see if you can work out a definition for power using an equation. The equation links power, energy and time. And remember that the unit for time is seconds. This is the definition. Power is the energy transferred in one second. And this is the equation which helps you to work it out. Power P is equal to energy E divided by time T. That's it for the electricity definitions. I told you this video would be short. So all we have left is to identify which of the following oscilloscope traces is AC and which is DC. Here's the first. And, wait for it, here's the second. The first one is, of course, AC, which stands for alternating current. The oscilloscope basically displays a graph of voltage on the y-axis against time on the x-axis, with this central horizontal line representing zero volts. The AC trace is both above the line, positive, and below the line, negative. The second trace, however, is DC, direct current, because it's entirely above the central line, although this trace would also be DC, as it's entirely below the central line. If you look at this new trace in the oscilloscope on the left of the screen, you should be able to work out that it too is DC. The trace is altering in size, but again it's entirely above the central line, and I'm afraid that's us over and above our time. If you found this video useful, then please give it a thumbs up and recommend it to your friends and classmates. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.